unlike you may hear on TV sometimes, and certainly in some other places you're here, get your front foot down early. We don't want it down early. We don't want it down late. We want your front foot down on time so that you flow into the swing. Pitching, or hitting and throwing are identical. The only difference is a ball and a glove and a bat. You won't see somebody trying to throw hard, put their foot down, break momentum, and then throw. It doesn't make any sense. All right, let's try. Camera is not on. We're going to get you warmed up. Ooh, how's the loop meister done? He's good. Got a hit last night. How old is he now? He's 10. You see, he playing as a 10 right now? Will you play as an 11 next year? Yeah. He's ready for you tomorrow. That's when these high hands might be a detriment. It's a long way to go to get to that ball down. Why are you, what's the reason you're doing that? Keep, to keep my hands high up here. All right, I did, I don't know if you remember him, I'm much older than you. Bobby Tolan. Oh yeah. Bobby Tolan used to stand this way. He would stand this way. Switch and over. Somehow, by the time his front foot came down, he was here. Now, my, one of my reminders to myself was keep my hands up. So, I would do that and my pre-swing movements. I do that, but I came back here to start. That was that reminder for me to keep my hands from coming down. I would prefer that you bring them down here because it's an extra movement. From here, we gotta go here, and now on that low pitch, we gotta go way down. So, you may be trying to do exactly what I tried to do many, many moons ago. Keep my hands from coming down. I think that's enough of a reminder. Pick them up and then put them down in here in your start position because it's just too far to go. And the other thing with it, guys are always trying to help. You will probably get some dad or coach or instructor to say, drop your hands. And that may be right before you go to bat in a big, in a big spot. And now you got to think about something you don't want to think about at that time. So I'd rather you do it now. Somebody's going to object to that even though it's not wrong, but for a 13 year old, I wouldn't do it. Too much, too much extra do. So if you want to remind yourself, do that, but bring them down here to start. My two swing thoughts that I would repeat to myself over and over again, Get in the batter's box, I do that, come back down, keep my head still, keep my hands up. And then I would shorten it to it, head still, hands high, head still, hands high, head still, hands high. That was my reminder to keep my hands from going down to the ball. Rather than telling kids to keep their hands up now, I just tell them to keep the front arm up because the front arm controls the hands and the bat, or turn the knob. If you turn the knob immediately, your hands are staying up. Grass is beat up, man. It's no rain. I know, the same way. Ours is the same way. I cut some of it today. I gotta cut this before it gets dark. Sometimes, some spots you don't even know if you're cutting or not. Nice. Only thing that's really grown in my yard is the crabgrass. We got the grass where the downspouts are. That's it. Yeah. Everything else is brown. One or two more, we're going to turn on the camera. And then I'll tell you what I'm up to. One more time. 